You can't just push the car hard the whole way, right? That's right. You have to be kind to the car. You feel the poor thing groaning underneath you. If you're going to push a piece of machinery to the limit and expect it to hold together, you have to have some sense of where that limit is. Look out there. Out there is the perfect lap. No mistakes. Every gear change, every corner. Perfect. You see it. I think so. Most people can't. Most people don't even know it's out there, but it is. It's there. Another year, global time attack. screwdriver interview so go ahead tell us why do you do time attack um, when I do well it gives me a feeling that I can't find anywhere else um, it's it's something it offers massive lows but when the highs are high it's it's incredible <laughs> Um, we went over my data, we went through the car, we changed a few things, we went out this morning, we put down our fastest time ever thanks to their data, um, looking at all mine and telling me where I can improve, and Travis yelling me on the radio, gas, 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 don't break! <laughs>
is just to to extract the most that I can out of myself and the machine that I've built. That's the challenge that we all like and strive to do every day. And it's just enjoyable once everything comes together all at once and we can get that everything working and pull that lap that we're hoping to get. So here we are with Mark Yeager from Psychopathic Racing. Uh, this doesn't look like a Subaru. What's going down here? No, we decided to pull out old trusty, so we pulled out the Opal. The Opal? With a V8 in it, because V8s don't die. That's right. Is it LS swap? It is an LS swapped Opal, sort of. And then so we put some of the tires that I had from the Subaru onto it, which are a set of uh, Hoosier A7s, and we just are sending it. Full send on the Opal with the LS swap. So our one last question we have to ask you though, why do you do this crazy thing called time attack? We still have yet to figure that one out. The word is out and I think we're all just stupid, but it's a good way. It's I mean, you could be doing drugs or something, but this is a lot better drug. Um, I don't know, man. Those coke farmers, they got it pretty good. I think we should probably invest in that over, but this is a lot more fun. Obviously, we have all of our friends here having a good time. Um, I was super lucky enough to have Rick O'Donnell let me borrow his Opal and uh, go have some fun on track. You know, there's, there's no bad day at the track when you're turning laps. If there's anything in life that you don't currently have right now, it's because of who you are and how you think. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it because you're human. Every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through. If they decide to push through it, push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. Listen to me very closely. Y'all running from obstacles when in fact it's the obstacle that's going to take you to the next level. Like y'all running from pain. Y'all running from challenges. You telling me how difficult your life is. Do you understand it is the difficulty that's going to prepare you and take you to that next level? To grow the individual will to become something. You must get comfortable with fear and failure. They must be your best friends. They're the only one that moves that needle of life. And the difference between a champion and someone who's forgotten is that a champion shows up. That's the only thing. Every day shows up. He gives himself a chance to make a difference. Because success doesn't know these things about cold or early or tired. It just knows if he showed up or not. For some of you, when you do what you do, you act as if you have another opportunity. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. You can't just say you want it. You can't watch the video and say, I want it as bad as I want to breathe. It's cute to say it, but when it's showtime, when the sun comes up, you've got all the books, you've got all the tapes, you've got all the access. Now it's time to hunt. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But if life's got you down, I need you to get up and prove them wrong. It's gonna rain sometimes, I will. It's gonna feel discouraged sometimes, I will. No matter what the obstacle, I will. I will. I will. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. It's the whole process. We're here for a global 
golf cart attack. We're about to go out there and shut it down with a 129. We're gonna take tons of shortcuts, so it's gonna be totally legal. So be there. I need to fix my face. Hurry up. <laughs> Who you are, what are you doing, and how's it going? My Ready? name is Travis Barnes. I'm from Texas. I'm from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you next year. One more time. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you next year. One more time. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're with uh, Sally McNulty. We're out here with uh, Global Time Attack doing some serious time and shoot. All right, so we went around. We're looking for spectators right now. Give us your rundown. Give us the rundown. What do y'all think about this time attack stuff? Come on now, don't be shy. Y'all got a little bit of sauce in there. It's okay. Rusty at this, man. All right, this little cork. 